What's up with shaking? Potato chips and bacon. I may not have abs, but your bitch like it. I'm here with Cross the Street with G and Burger. Names of weed put you in these awkward ass positions. When dispensaries first opened, I went in one. It was like, hey man, I am just looking for a good cheap ace. And they were like, oh, we got some in here. It's 37% THC. I said, well, how much is it? They were like, it's six dollars. You shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> how much is that? Eight? Six dollars. Put it in the bag, ma'am. She said, all right. Angel's mouth coming right up. Wait, what the fuck did you say the name of that weed was? It's Angel's mouth. What is good? I'm here today with Bertie Lee Hi. and our friend, Sir Lance Edward. How are you, my friend? I'm good. What's up? What's shaking? Potato chips and bacon. I may not have abs, but your bitch like it. Hey! <laughs> we ran into you last at the Reveal Lounge. Um, it's yeah. been nice to get you on the show finally. I've yes. been waiting to get on, man. Y'all been doing good interviews, man. Y'all had my boy, uh, Tink my role manager, and then you had Posse on here. I was like, man, I need to come get with y'all. We bumped into B. Wade uh, last week. Oh, yeah. Um, that's Zane, my Zane Thomas has been on the show, Sharista, so a few oh, other people. Oh, Sharista, that's my, that's my girl in the bag of pearls, man. <laughs> a few other people in your wheelhouse today. Man. Um, part of our local fashion sponsor. We got our Bad Habitat shirt on today, sponsored by Bad Habitat themselves. You see it? <laughs> Yeah, we noticed you have some great fashion, too. Oh, oh man, one to rep the city. Yeah, man. tell us a little more about it. All black mannequin everything today, man. Yes. Had, a, had a good day the other day. Mr. Walton's going to love that. <laughs> oh, man, that's my dog, man. Bro, yeah. been rocking out, rocking with me for a long time. I got a story I got to tell you off camera, but... Oh, oh it's off hilarious. camera, off camera. Yeah. Oh, that's a spicy one. No, nah, I can tell it, no. Nah. <laughs> so, when I first got single, like, four years ago, I was out tramping. So I was like wearing gray sweats, you know, trying to <laughs> just be stupid. And there was a girl, I did a comedy show at a swingers club and the girl was doing the embroidery. And she was like, ooh, I, I do all of that. I said, okay, right on. She was like, well, come see me later. I said, okay. And when I saw her later, somebody was handling her in the swingers club. And she kept saying like, come here. I'm like, nah, you look like you're dealing with enough. I want to call the police, that's an assault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you do watch the show enough, we do bring everybody a gift. Um, Portland George and also Adam Posse gave Bob Jude's high, high marks on the cookies. Ooh. So we'll present you with some fresh homemades. Those came out like not even 45 minutes ago. These, so. these like normal cookies, Normal right? cookies, correct. Okay. Now, I was going to say, bro, this is a lot of edibles, bro. And I, it's a drive. I know your take on edibles, too. Uh, great oh. stuff during the Portland's Funniest Stuff from 2019. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that, What man. a wonderful set. Thank you, man. Just trying to grow and get better than I was yesterday, to be honest, man. It's, I love my craft. I've been doing it since about my senior year of high school. So being able to do stuff like that and get that compliment, man, is just wants me to keep working hard. So appreciate No, great that. last. You. Birdie and I were busting the gut all the way here. Um, the take on edibles, though, is my favorite. I think it's that's... the worst. Them shits kick in when they want to. <laughs> man, fuck you. In 15 minutes, two and a half hours. Hey, man, kill yourself. What do you mean 15 minutes to two and a half hours? Man, I got to go pick up my son in 30 minutes. <laughs> we did meet out here on uh, this side of town here at the sub shop today. Oh, um, yes. This is a, this is a uh, important neighborhood to you for a lot of reasons, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, man. I'm a kid from Northeast, man. 4512 Northeast Kenlinsworth, man, right hey. across the way. And walked to Whitaker Middle School and then catch the school bus in elementary school to regular. Like, this whole area is literally my youth. And that's why I really picked it, because this is beautiful to me. Yep. And it's gentrified as fuck. It, it, <laughs> it has changed. The only thing ain't changed is that sub shop. I, when I went into that store, show you how, on the back wall, it used to be all the little, the little like, cap guns and water balloons and shit. It's bongs. <laughs> we trays. I'm like, this shit is changed. Smoking weed, doing the days drugs. Of five cent candies. And oh gums my are gone. gosh, them yeah. shits is gone. They got box water and box wine. <laughs> That's I, the first thing I noticed when in every gentrified neighborhood I've ever been in, from here to Tacoma to Cali. Once you see box wine, there are no more single cigarettes. So, <laughs> oh Lucy, yeah, they are letting you know, Lucy, get yeah. the fuck out of here. Ain't no more fifty cents <laughs> Lucy's, but get you some Ziffendale in a, <laughs> in a box. <laughs> You ride the 72, I take it then? That was yes, the, yeah. the 72 and the 75. Yes. And people would come up to our school, come up to Whitaker like it was a high school. My folks would really come hang out. Like, try to leave Ockley Green, Beaumont, so they can come to Mr. Burger. Oh. Mr. Burger. Rest in peace to Mr. Burger, bro. Dollar fries and then get a whole bag. That shit was amazing when you didn't have no money. You got $2 <laughs> in your pocket, I can get wow. a drink and a big box of fries. And being fat, I was trying to put 
individual <laughs> pieces of ketchup on every fry to make it last longer. <laughs> so I just didn't put it all in there. I just be one fry. You are so <laughs> You gotta make it stretch. So when is your next shows coming up so we can check you out? Um, I got shit. <laughs> um, I'm going to open, May 12th, I'm in Tacoma opening for, uh, for, oh my God, Slink Johnson from uh, Black Jesus. Oh. And then I have two more shows in Portland. They are not confirmed, confirmed just yet because some somebody messed up on the flyer with my name because it is Sir Lance Edward, not mm. Lance Edwards. And Only one. No motherfucking ass. <laughs> Man. It give me. That's why I, I put the sir in there to to change it. It's like I'm gonna give you all the S on the front end. <laughs> Don't they try to make it my last name? It's like man, I, I I can fuck up in real life, and my kids don't aren't affected by it. That's why y'all don't have my real name. <laughs> <laughs> I get caught with a prostitute. Lil Lance can go to school and be like, yeah, I know him, but that ain't my dad. <laughs> you ain't got to get teased and ridiculed. We ran into Ike's last night. Oh, another young boy. The Mines. Very young, very funny guy. He has a little Tuesday event. I shouldn't say little. I'm trying to execute, excuse me. He has a big event that he does every Tuesday. Yes. Um, right across the street there from Neil Madison. Oh, McDaniels, okay. They call oh, it. Oh, uh, Jinx, uh, my boy High Jinx. High Jinx, yeah. Yeah, that's Eastside Barn Grill. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, every, yeah. He does open mic there every Tuesday. We're going to try and go. We're going to tap in with Ike's. We're going to get in touch with him there. Oh, it's going to be beautiful, yeah. man. Definitely go tap in with Jinx, too, man. He's fucking yeah, hilarious, love too. Yeah, Jinx, yeah. Hilarious. You guys have been on the rotation, this, like, together, right? You guys have. That's my, my brother in arm. That's the first time I went on tour was me, him, um, Belinda Giles, and Sam Austin. And we did 25 dates in a wow. month. Wow. Yeah. It was trash. I want to say I met him 10 years ago at a close friend of ours uh, that had a wake. Mm -hmm. um, RIP to Chris Duke, a uh, friend of the family there. Rest that in love. Rest little, in love. Yeah. But I met Ike's, or, uh, excuse me, Jinx there, High Jinx there that night. Mm -hmm. Class act gentleman. Nice yes, guy. indeed, man. Tall yeah. ass. Tall, yeah. Tall. Oh, my God. <laughs> he get out of the car. You be like, damn, you still going? <laughs> but no, nah, that's my man, 100 grand. Though. How's your uh, creative process work, uh, Mr. Edward? Do you, I mean, I, I know the power punched joke after joke after joke mm -hmm. seems to be the high paced method. If you had like a 45 minute special, do you feel like you could... You know, yeah. exercise for 45 minutes like oh, that? Oh, that's water Because you're power packed. I that's mean, that's water now. I've uh, My normal writing style is I, I stopped, like, writing because I was starting to take the soul out of the joke. I was so worried about thes and souls and making sure the pause is right. And it's like I was killing my own material. Right. So I started to not write. I record every set when I go on stage. So when I go do open mics, I can just go back, listen to it. wasn't What wasn't working, throw it away. What is working, keep it. Because a lot of it is when the freestyle ha happens. The best form of comedy is live. Like when you see specials and stuff, like they're good, but they're polished, they're critiqued, and every piece is perfect. When you catch somebody live, you might I might say something stupid, and somebody will fuck up in the crowd and respond to it. Now I can spin off and I got 10 extra minutes of material I wow. don't have to do and I get to go off of you and you get to save me. Wow. Wow. That's very good. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. The rhythm that, that, that you great comedians keep is I feel like what keeps us laughing. Yeah. So. What we don't talk about is the, the shit that's in the trash can of all of our brains. You just have to pace it so you can feel comfortable <laughs> enough to laugh. You've thought about tripping the old lady that was moving slow, but I just said it and you get to laugh at it now. You'd be like, man, I hate that old bitch. What about you? Are you a motorcycle rider? Hell no. What for? There's four doors and, and, and protection. That shit is not cool. Even if women like it, man, well, go die with him. <laughs> I'm straight. Let's go get in this Volvo. <laughs> Do you eat out about town? I know that you work a lot around town. You got any favorite spots around town that you even enjoy visiting, other than, of course, the, the sub shop? The fucking wings at Portland, Georgia's at Mondo's. I swear. Uh, Smacktown. Smacktown? Down at Smacktown. We're officially rebranded to Smacktown. Okay, Smacktown. Yeah. When did that happen? Uh, a couple weeks ago. Actually, he was on the show and during his episode. Ain't that like a heroin reference? <laughs> 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 I love you, PG. Come on to Smacktown, baby. We got the itchiest wings you ever had. 
<laughs> we love them. <laughs> no, nah, but no, nah, PG, man, them wings, I swear by them. I swear by them wings. Oh, I'm going to go get some after this, even though we have the sub shop. He made us a burger. I, like, I'm not even Ooh. joking. I got my tooth pulled and then showed up at his restaurant, and he made me and Birdie a burger. Literally the best burger I've ever had. Like 30 minutes after I got a tooth pulled, it's I was in there eating a damn Proud of you. So Just talking about this. Man, hey, we're going to suffer for this greatness. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, so Smacktown. Okay, yeah, cool. Smacktown. Yeah. Officially rebranded. Yeah. No, that's great. I always like to see everybody out supporting the community with all the, you know, showing the love of oh, wearing, man, no, wearing we the brands to. and supporting the restaurants and the trucks and stuff that we have here. Man, so. B-Wall and DJF always bless me, too. Like, I uh, opened for Mike Epps right before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And uh, DJF came through, gave me a blue hoodie. And Mike Epps fucked with it when I went up and opened for Rest in Peace to the Parlor Live, which was a fucking beautiful place in, uh, <laughs> up in Bellevue, Washington. Okay. So the first place I ever got a, a, a uncomfortable standing ovation. Oh. <laughs> it, was, it was strong. Like, I'm moving? Sp- like moving? Like, I know I'm funny. But when you have 400 people laugh at the same time and you feel it, like, oh. I was like... Did it out, joke. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> and my, one of my mentors, Ralph Porter, oh a monster. But uh, when I got off stage, cause in the green room you could see it on the TV, and he was like, "You felt it, didn't you?" I said, "Get the fuck out of my face, bro! <laughs> Don't bring it up, bro." He was like, Man, "You getting strong, young boy?" And so that was always a big vote. But yeah, you feel all that laughter at once. <sighs> wow, man! Wow, that's powerful, man. Have you had? Is that one of your? I mean. I asked some of the musicians, and uh, you know, have they had a moment where you feel like you've made it? Was that kind of your moment where you kind of... No, that was when I went and did the Black Bay Area Festival. Okay. Once again, right before the pandemic. I went out there, and I was one of three people from Portland. And the fucking thing I hate is when people say, damn, they got black people in Portland. I'm like, first of all, you think Section 8 and crack cocaine and blood stopped at the border of California? <laughs> Bro, we have all of the same fucking struggles. I had paper food stamps, all of it. And then I went on stage and they kept looking at me like I was going to be not me. And I went in rec shop and it was the best compliment ever. Like, ooh, I didn't know Portland was doing that. I'm like, yes, we have a lot of talent and we work hard. And we niggas too. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah bro it's that's when it started when i leave the city like i love working inside the city and washington but when i leave and i get that love that's where it shows that that's more of a i made it moment because i'm repping my city wherever i go 45 12 northeast killers oh getting it in just a kid from northeast man and northeast bro i'm not a southeast person I was to get oh, oh you're okay yeah sorry my uh, bad, my bad. Uh, you ever use a laundromat here? Yes, that's the best cleaners in the city, too. We see a lot of people pull up already, actually. Back when you could wear <laughs> creases in your jeans and not look like an old person. That's that's where we would go to go get heavy starched. Man, I remember one of my homeboys, he was skinny as a pencil. But he had these baggy-ass 501s, and he had the creases in them. And all you saw was this long ass crease in his little ass leg because it was so tight, like he didn't pull him shit. Cortez out. popping yeah. out the bottom. <laughs> oh man, I missed the night. Some 90s of the, some of those dudes were dope in the night. I had friends that could stand their dickies up and go yeah. to sleep and just get up in the morning and just slide them joints on. But like, now, if you're wearing that, it's like, man, tell me you just got out of prison without telling me you just got out of prison. <laughs> and you spent a lot of money on stars. Like, too. Like, bro, why? Cans. Sure, man, I'm good. I'm an aerosol. <laughs> the ozone layer fucked up because of crispy jeans. Uh, what do you do to relax? I mean, I know you have to let the brain loose every now and then and just kind of decompress. And man, I smoke. You smoke. You I are, smoke. You are an advocate of, of cannabis. Oh, for yeah. sure. I yeah. man, go smoke and chill. And I'm a. Uh, I even hate the indica sativa shit, but I'm an indica guy, man. My mind okay. runs so much, I need to slow down. The last thing I need to do is think more. Yeah. Do you have any places to recommend? Yeah, where you get your weed at? Yeah, where you like to shop? The homie? No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You still got one? No, no. no, yeah, no. Still there. If you are still selling weed, you are selling to high schoolers and people that just got out of jail that don't have ID. <laughs> you just can't fucking go. You over there waiting at, at McDaniel's High School, which is dope as fuck. It's called Lee Otis. I went to Madison, but they call it McDaniel's now. I'll get used to it eventually. But Do you know the first name? Who is it? Oh, Lee Otis. Lee Otis. Yeah. yeah. There is a high school in Portland, Oregon named Lee Otis. Amazing, but we still got Jeff. Still got Jeff. 
I wonder if they'll ever figure that out. I mean, yeah, I mean, that name is a little controversial. I think I a little think bit so. more than Madison, but. Yeah. What? Never mind. <laughs> we were going to do drunk history here. Oh in my a second. gosh. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what was going to happen. I love that you're from our city. I love that you've culturally raised yourself through this and seen the change. And, oh man, and that's what that's what I like, man. I, I played I played Pop Warner football for Whitaker, and then it went to we moved to Alberta Park. And if I had a dollar for every white person that was jog, jogging with a cocker spaniel, I wouldn't have a dollar. And now. I'd be looking, I'd be like, y'all really feel safe here. I used to want to be a blood because of that part. Now, let me tell you, I was raised, obviously, in the city. And it was something about dark-skinned dudes with jerry curls and gold teeth. I was like, they look so dope. And then my dad said, if it don't look fun when the Fed cases come in, it better not look fun now. Ooh, so that kind of stopped my, my, all my gang banging. <laughs> Quickly too. Like, like man, yeah. no, I'm feds. What that mean? <laughs> feds, yeah. <laughs> well, we got blessed with another kind of bipolar day here too in Portland. It was. We always wonder why the show takes care of us with the weather, but it seems to this whole week. So been perfect, except for that punk ass Monday. Monday was a little no, treacherous. Where the yeah. fuck did the snow come from? It was like rain slash snow, hail. Slash... Yeah, the, on our way to yesterday's show to interview Brenboy, it was snowing in the car, and then we pulled up and. It just started sunning out of nowhere. This shit, I'm tired of this fucking end of the world ass weather. <laughs> Either come back, Jesus, or quit playing with us. Man. Just give us some sun, man. We uh, deal with enough of this rain shit. Just no snow. Well, Mr. Edward, we ran through about 16 minutes there pretty quick. Um, go on the way out of here. You want to give us some special love, shout outs, PSA, anything you got to get off your chest before we get out of oh, here? Oh, I'm the co host of Doe, the hottest. The hottest showcase in the city, man. Every Wednesday at Mississippi Pizza. Me, Adam Posse, Jake Silverman, Thomas Lundy, and we just have a bunch of comics coming through all the time, repping and ripping, and it's some dope ass pizza. So please come through. I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying to get run over. <laughs> you. What is, what is your ethnicity? I'm mixed with black, white, and Cherokee Indian. Okay. Because you could go for anything brown. Yeah, you could have been like Puerto Rican, Latina. You could have been Puerto Rican, you could have been Samoan, you could have been all the polys, you could have been a little Cambodian, could, uh, what's the other maybe Filipino? I maybe I am mixed with everything. See, the Filipinos fuck me up because they look Asian and they got Mexican names. I'd be like, man, Pablo Torre is Asian, man, no. <laughs> uh, Gotta go to Ancestry to check. I went and did it, and that shit came back with a paper that said, really, nigga? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? That's why I don't want to do it. <laughs> We're going to be like 100%. If I find out I'm white, I'm acting different. <laughs> I want to 1% white. I am honking at people. I'm putting my feet out the window and shit. I'm going to act different. Uh, uh, thank you so much for your time. Um, okay. If there's ever anything we can do for you in the future, you just let us know. We'd yes, love, indeed, love man. We're gonna have to get y'all to come out to Doe too. Yeah, yes. we'd love to come cover sure. one of your events. That'd be great. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah man, there ain't no cover, or there's no cover, and you ain't got to. Uh, people ain't got to bring them fake ass uh, vax cards that they was trying to run over. So y'all good now. <laughs> good to go. Yeah, man. People was passing vax cards like bus passes in middle school. They was like, no, no, no here you go, here you go. <laughs> Take it. We Take seen the it. we seen the security at the door one night watching someone check Vax cards, mm -hmm. and he you could have showed him a, a picture of a cat, and he was gonna let you in. Give him your whole bank statement in blank. <laughs> yeah, you know how cool. <laughs> uh, yes, thanks again for your time. Um, Anytime, bro. We're gonna Thank see you, you soon. I really look forward Appreciate to seeing you, your event. Yes. So that's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna make it out to that for sure. Yes, indeed. Um, get home safe. Uh, until we see you then. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Cheers.